Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about Gregor Zane's Son of Hanover Block. It is the third book in his Hanover Block series. You have the Hanover Block, which is book one. Book two is Brides of Hanover Block, and book three is Son of Hanover Block. The uh, fourth book, Return of Hanover Block, uh, is supposed to be out this year at some point in time. Gregor's still working on it. And uh, just let you know up front, I have worked on these books with Gregor. I do some content editing for them. And me and Gregor have been good friends for a long time. But if the book sucked, I would tell you. In fact, some honesty right up front. My least favorite book in the series so far, not that it's a bad book, but my least favorite, ser my least favorite book in the series is Brides. Uh, the first one is my second favorite. This one is easily, easily my favorite book in the series. Um, the the character work development is on point. This is both a prequel and a sequel uh, to the the first book. The ending, though, um, that this is that's where this book shines. Uh, one of the one of Gregor's strong points. One of them. Uh, the main one is he cares. Uh, he he edits his work. He does the he does the absolute best. Um, he goes above and beyond for the genre um, and being an indie small press. Well, he's just indie author. Um, he goes above and beyond as far as cleaning up his manuscripts. Uh, his are the cleanest I have ever come across, even in content editing. I've done a lot of editing in my day, and even his the drafts that he sends for to me for content are relatively spotless um, but the final product is always a treat to read um, this one deals with uh, the the escalation of everything that has happened because of the first and the second book and I'm going to harp on this ending I did not see it coming I did not expect it um, where it went is very it I, I don't want to call it like B movie kind of thing because it's so much better than that but there he Gregor takes chances that very few authors take and I appreciate that and the ending of this one I, I don't even want to tell you what type of ending I, I, I kind of want to but I don't want to tell you there is another book coming so if that helps you out a little bit hint hint nudge nudge there is another book coming so the way this one ends only makes me super excited for return to Hanover Block, and that's I, that's something that I rarely get with series too. Is that oh my gosh, I can't wait for the next book. I think the only other series I've ever been excited for the next book, as much as I'm excited for this one, is Stephen King's Dark Tower series. Luckily, Gregor's putting these things out quicker than King did. But uh, there, there, there is. I I I don't want to warn you, but this is the this is a hypersexual, hyper nasty. Um, really screwed up read. All three books deal with uh, s sexual uh, sexual things of a very gruesome nature. Um, in, fa <laughs> in fact, the first book uh, caught me completely off guard. The only thing I had read from Gregor before was, uh, let's see, uh, I think Six Dead Spots and some short stories. When I read, <laughs> when I read the first one, I was like, "Oh, this is going to be fun." Now I spoke to Gregor. I'll leave a link down there in the doobly doo. Um, I spoke to Gregor. We're doing a uh, a series called Gregor's Goats, uh, Greatest of All Time. So every single month we'll be talking to Gregor about some of his favorite things. Um, it's not a replacement for Top Five Friday. It's just something uh, that I thought was fun, and the first episode went really well. Uh, like I said, I'll leave a link down there in the doobly doo. He gives ten books that are fantastic. So definitely check that out. Um, yeah, my my side is a little pixelated and glitchy, but if nothing else, listen to Gregor's side because it's it's super clear. Um, I am th this book is an easy five stars, and I don't want to say too much about it. Um, I don't even really want to read the description to you, so I'm not going to. Uh, I want you to go into this series, especially blind, and just have a lot of fun. Um, there, there is a negative connotation when people talk about Bizarro that it's just weird for weird sake. Gregor isn't like that. So if you've read some Bizarro and you're like, well, I just, I just can't make Haydn or Hare this, Gregor is the person you need to go to. Because even though his stuff is bizarre, it is out of this world, it is just utterly nuts, he makes it believable. 
Um, and the, part, the, the main reason for that is his believable descriptions and his believable characters. So, if you have read the Hanover Block series, any of the books, let me know down there in the doobly-doo. Uh, if you liked it, tell me why you liked it. If you didn't like it, tell me why you didn't like it. Um, I'd, I'd love to have a conversation with you about either one of those topics, but if you just say it sucks or it's great, I really can't comment on that whatsoever, cause, yeah, other than asking you, you know, what did you think? Uh, but leave all that stuff down there in the doobly-doo. Until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!